Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, December 11, 2010. This week, holiday project number three, making two from tags in Photoshop and Elements. This week's tip is another in our holiday project series. Make your gift tags extra special this year by personalizing them for each person on your gift list. Using your digital stash in Photoshop or Elements is easy. Begin by opening a new blank document in Photoshop or Elements in the size you'd like to print. For the sample, I created an 8.5 by 11 inch document at 300 pixels per inch. Create the tag shape by getting the rectangle tool here on the toolbar. Don't confuse the rectangular marquee tool with the rectangle tool. It'll be farther down, down here. Set your foreground color to gray or just a neutral color and click OK, and then shift, click, and drag out a square on your document. This will be the front of your tag. Next, get the Move tool and select that square and open a photo or a digital paper. For the sample, I'm using Katie Pertit's paper from Le Poirier Paper Pack at Designer Digitals. Drag the paper onto your document positioning it one space above the square here in the Layers panel. Move your cursor between the two layers and then Alt-click or on a Mac System Option click to glue the digital paper to the square. You can resize and reposition the paper at this point if you'd like. I'm going to resize this paper to where it'll fit onto the square. I'm just going to drag the corners in and click the check mark. Next, control click or on a Mac System command click both the paper layer and the square layer and then press control E or on a Mac System command E to merge the two layers together. Make the back of the tag by pressing control J or on a Mac System command J to duplicate your square. Select the duplicate layer and press control T to get the transform controls. You'll see it make a box around your square. Position your cursor outside the square. When it changes to a curved arrow, shift, click, and drag to turn the square upside down. Holding the shift key will turn the square in increments, allowing you to keep it straight. Now use the up arrow key or the shift key and drag the square up so that the bottom of your new square touches the top of the first square. Flipping the square this way will allow the pattern to be right side up when the tag is folded, and then click the check mark. Decorate the front of the tag with text or digital elements to your liking. If you add text or elements to the back of the tag, be sure to flip them using the steps that you use to flip the paper. Now you can copy these squares enough times to fill up the whole page. When you're done, press File, Print, and follow the on-screen instructions to print out your tags. Finish up by cutting out the tags and creating a mountain fold so that the fold is at the top. Print your to from information inside the tag and tape it or tie it to your package. Use your creativity to personalize tags for each of your gift recipients this year. You can make them smile by placing a photo of that person on the front of the tag or use a theme that matches the gift that you're giving inside. Find elements that will appeal to each person and create enough duplicates so that you can use the same tag on each gift that you give them. Identifying the gift recipient will be quick and easy with your personalized tags. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another holiday project.